Netflix released the final batch of episodes of the Americanized version of The Circle on Wednesday. I'm here to give you the recap and subsequent review of the final episodes, as well as my final thoughts on the show. If you haven't checked out my previous two reviews, be sure to do so. And if you haven't guessed by now, this review is going to be spoiler heavy. So if you don't want any spoilers thrown your way, and if you especially don't want to know the winner of The Circle, get out of here now. Also, if you'd leave us a like on the video, we'd really appreciate it. All right, here we go. We left off last week with the cliffhanger of Sean about to reveal her true identity to the house. She reveals it, and mostly everyone is super supportive. The players send in their ratings, but unbeknownst to them, whoever is ranked last will automatically be blocked. Unsurprisingly, Bill is last, and Shoebomb and Rebecca, aka Seaburn, as the influencers for the round, head up to block another person. They unsurprisingly choose Adam, aka Alex, and he goes to visit the other catfish in the game face to face. <laughs> Everyone else is pretty surprised though because they think Rebecca and Adam had this romance going on which is just fantastic to me. The players give more ratings and this time the rankings are kept anonymous and the person who ranked first is given the power of super influencer where they will have to block one person face to face. Joey ranked first and decides to, unsurprisingly, block Sean. Hi honey, it's me, I'm Joey. I'm so sorry. Joey. Honey, I'm so sorry about this, I'm so sorry. Players give their final ratings, which will then in turn determine the winner. But first, the person who ranks last in the final ratings will be immediately blocked. Unsurprisingly, that person is Ed, aka Ed and Tammy, and they go visit Sammy face to face. The final five are formed, and those players are told to get ready to meet each other face to face in the inner circle. Shuby shows up and is the first one to meet Rebecca, aka Seaburn. Shuby. Joey? Nope. Rebecca. <sighs> Everyone else follows suit and they have a nice dinner as the final five. It's finale time and all the blocked players as well as the final five are brought back to find out who won the circle. Rebecca aka Seaburn gets fifth, Chris is fourth, Sammy gets third, leaving Joey and Shoebomb as the top two. And alas, Joey comes out in first place, becoming $100,000 richer and being crowned as the winner of the circle. I'll start off this review by talking about Sean's ultimate decision to change pictures and reveal her true self to the players. It was met with mostly positive vibes with the exception coming from Shoebomb. And I think there's valid reasons from both sides. Of course, I'm not going to attempt to act like I know Sean's life and how being in this game made her feel. I think clearly her decision to tell the players who she was was extremely tough for her, so I'm not going to discount that. And I understand why Shoebomb wasn't the biggest fan of her coming in as someone different because that revolves around one of his many stances on social media as a whole. Like it would be weird if Shoebomb loved if Sean was pretending to be someone else. As with Karen and Alex and Seaburn, I think Sean would have been better off just being herself from the get-go and basing her strategy off of being 100% real. Because as this season's top four showed, that strategy works. But again, I'm not going to sit here and contradict everyone's reasoning for catfishing because most of them had reasoning based on their life experience and it would be dumb of me to act like I have those same experiences. But I would love to know your thoughts on whether Sean took the right strategic approach in this game. I also think that Sean was one of the many predictable blocks that we got in these last four episodes. Because I don't know if you noticed, but the four people blocked in these episodes were all people added into the game. There were so many chances for the original players to at least attempt to finally get rid of someone who they deemed threatening to them in the finale. But it seemed like in every single episode, that every individual ranking was based on nothing more than loyalty and deservedness to be there. It made every decision, every ranking, every blocking so predictable. I thought maybe early on when we had players really shooting for third and fourth place in the rankings we, that we'd eventually see those players getting influencer spots as threats, but we never even got a glimpse of it. Shubon was an influencer three f***ing times and nobody even batted an eye about it. Last week if I'd asked any of you who you thought the top three in the game would be, you would have probably said Sammy, Shubom, or Joey. This isn't me being frustrated at the game, it's me being frustrated with how the original players were playing the game towards the end. Especially in Sammy and Shubom's case, they could have made bigger decisions as influencers during their respective reigns of power that could have potentially had them walking out with $100,000. Instead, the original players seemed to only want to kick out those that were added in after the fact, and I think that decision cost a few of them a way better chance at winning. 
And had Joey ultimately lost, I would have had a more extensive part of this video on how dumb it was to take out Sean with the super influencer role, and on top of that, publicly tell everyone that he was the super influencer. But he won, so I don't care. But he still missed an opportunity by just taking out another added in player. Not that I think those that were added in really deserved to win the game, but they could have been used more in this season as more than just furniture. Speaking of those players that were added in, how more useless could they be? I know I spoke in my last review about how unenthused I was about the newer players, but good lord, they became more obsolete by the second towards the end of everything. I think Bill said a total of two words in his stint, and Ed and his mom might have been the most useless duo of them all, especially Tammy, because like, I, I feel like all she did was give Ed ideas on what to say, but then Ed would be like, no mom, you're dumb, and that was all that ever was contributed from her. Oh well, <clears throat> I'm not mad, but I am because they didn't do anything. I guess I'll end all of this by saying that this entire season has been a huge surprise to me for how much I enjoyed it. Not knowing too much about the circle and the previous versions, I was worried on how much I was gonna latch onto the show, but right off the bat, I was hooked. The players in premise both drew me in and had me invested only about an hour into the first episode. And I don't think that's just me. From the comments I've seen on these videos and online, I think there's plenty of people who feel the same way. The cons for this show across the board seem to be somewhat minimal, which is great for The Circle, for Netflix, and for viewers that got 12 hours of entertainment in the past few weeks. The big downside that I'm going to take away from this season is that my enjoyment of the episodes decreased week by week. This is also something I mentioned last week, but a large part of that was adding new players that I couldn't connect with as much as I did with the original players. In a way, I think what I was experiencing with the added in people was exactly what the players were feeling too. I don't know. The sweet spot for me was definitely the first four episodes when everything was still fresh, when the conversations were new and exciting, and we were still slowly finding things out about each person. Towards the end, every conversation started to feel stale and hashtag calculated. I think Bill's comments about everybody being fake were accurate and that aspect conversationally kind of got old for me, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like that's not also part of the game. I think a big point the circle tries to make in its premise is that in itself this game is a big popularity contest. Throughout the season I just kept thinking about how that was really just a way of dumbing down the path to victory, but by the end the last people standing truly were the most popular among the rest of the players. I think if the circle continues that kind of end path is going to start changing because future players are going to adapt off of this season's cast and that's really just with any I think game show and crossing my fingers we should get some ruthless gameplay in the future i hope for my sake probably the most profound moment in the final four episodes to me was shoe mom coming to terms with the being your true self versus being a catfish self argument here's a guy that preached his distaste for social media and titling it as social medusa the whole series talking about how being yourself can get you so much further all while the entire game he was putting most of his trust in a grown man pretending to be his girlfriend. And because of this realization, Shubham has this moment where he has to ask himself if I truly made the connection, isn't that the only thing that matters? But I think the point of being yourself in the circle is kind of a dead end in terms of how far your genuineness can reach. Because what's always going to get in the way is that $100,000 prize. And as we saw from every single episode, that forces nearly every bit of naturalness and genuineness to be hesitated because every word you say could potentially ruin that prize in the end. Okay, I've said a lot. I think it's about time I wrap this whole thing up. So thank you guys for keeping up with these videos through the past couple weeks. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel or checked out our Patreon, I would encourage you to do so. The Circle in its first run on Netflix is over and I am satisfied with Joey as the ultimate winner. So I'll take that positivity and carry it into the next season. Until that happens, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on the season as a whole and what you hope for in the future. Thank you guys for watching again and peace out.